Hello everyone, Teach here. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about theory crafting and guilds and also why Discord is such a big must for the guild that you are a part of and having an active Discord. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So the reason why I want to talk about the uh, theory crafting discords particular is because that is something I would say we in DK crew do exceptionally well and this kind of ties in with TCP because I know many people are focused on what is your TCP but and your raid score but for me there's one thing that is more crucial and that's something called raid ratio and I want to talk about this on not through my own score but if we just go through it, uh, I'll just go through it very quickly. I have not everything cliffed up. I'm at this level here and I score around 19 million. I believe my my TCP is, no, my raid ratio is around uh, 60. It's around there. We have a sheet where we calculate all that stuff in DK Crew. We keep scores, people post their scores. It's really good. Also because that is a way for us to see uh, where aren't you growing we can interact with people why aren't you growing etc and that's a really important part for us especially uh, those who are free to play hardcore or a little bit casual but at least you use all your energy you get your keys etc so the reason why i wanted to do this video and not from my own perspective is i'm actually going to go through the perspective of our biggest high scorer one would call our whale, and I would label him amongst the very, very best when it comes to actually scoring in the chapters. So, we're going to start off here. This is his chapter 1 score. This is from last raid. He has had small improvements here and there, but this is where he really goes through it. I'll take it into you. Some of you might have guessed who it is already, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So this is his chapter 1 score where he basically scores almost uh, 6.7 and for those of us who do chapter 4 with difficulty, 4 means this is pretty difficult. You would need at least 3.15 million teams basically. You need almost everyone to be difficulty 4 attempts. So this is his chapter 2, almost 7 million, so again, scoring pretty well, only, like I would say chapter 2 is probably the only chapter where you can score above um, the difficulty 4, because you can do several squats at difficulty 5 if fully maxed, he doesn't do that, he's not that big of a kraken. Then his chapter 3 score, as you can see, this is very close to uh, complete difficulty 4 max, and... He has been very close, he's tried a lot, so yeah, that is definitely good. And the thing that I'm going to mention is his TCP, we're going to have to suspense for just a little bit. And this is his difficulty 4 score, like for his difficulty 4, well for all of them, I'm of course below him because I scored 19-ish millions, I believe. I haven't done the Cal calculation but my recent run I've done maybe 19.3 because I got an increase here and there with some teams and other places I dropped 200k combined so I would say I'm getting close to my goal for 20 million so but let's actually jump into the game so you can actually see where we're at and the teams that I want to talk about is uh, we're going to talk about fellowship actually so we're going to jump back to difficulty uh, <laughs> difficulty 1, chapter 1. We're going to jump back here and then we're going to find him. Um, as you can see, that's one of my 100k's that I didn't really want to go for um, with my back and everything these days. It's Sleeper. We are going to take um, the view through teacher. I don't have his um, roster screenshotted, but... He is one of the very active people. Him and I also, again, in DMs, are very active when we theorycraft. Just like me, you can see he does a full difficulty for here. Then he has his uh, Gandalf team. And this is wh where I also want to pop this up. Because many people talk about Gandalf. He's good fellowship. I want to do this video on how 
you might want to build your Gandalf for the chat for the different chapters. And instead of me sitting here talking about it when I don't have my own build, I want to show you someone who actually has and has a fellowship build so you can get the most out of your fellowship down the line. Now his Halberad is a little bit weaker than mine. It's also only at six star, I believe. Um, but that is definitely there for the healer. We can see it. And then he has a full Road to Rivendell squad. Again, Sovereign. I know I've shouted him out a lot, but yeah, he also follows his uh, guys. He's actually one who uh, put me on the track to Sovereign's videos. So, And then he has difficulty for here. This is something I might want to pivot over into. Um, like, Aome is such a good plug and play. You have healer here, you have some AoEs, you have summons, you have many different ways of getting the five stacks. And then we have a probably a 900k hiding around here somewhere. Yeah, he has um, he has a mixed team here, but that's okay as long as you get the 900k, whatever works. Now we're gonna take a look at his uh, chapter two, and that was a little bit of a miss. He did an accidental submit with one of his teams, but as you can see here. Uh, again, fellowship he does with Eoma. If you have a really well built Eoma, he's a really good plug and play. Oh, also, yeah, Night Goblin has two million. Congrats on that again. Um, so yeah, you can really do this. For me, as you can see here, I was so close. I just really had the small mechanics. Like I have haven't had the best RNG with Heratrim in my difficulty two in my chapter two at the moment. After I got that one point eight eight score, so that sucks. But other people um, are putting up good numbers with Heratrim. I'm just very, very unlucky when I do my chapter 2 and after the first kill phase, Bekalu doesn't land her poison and black serpents. And that's basically what goes wrong when even she has deadly and concentration. That's where I... That's where I end up going down south, basically. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Fellowship here. Groove of the Brood. Uh, those who have built him up, you can ask Swag... He's active in all the Discord screw. The Brood is a really good one, as you can see, only gear 7. Then he has Charu here with these. This is like an in-between squad um, as he's building up. But again, 1.5, so this is pretty good. This is also one that Sleeper really would recommend everyone to go build. And when we talk go build, I will show you mine because it's almost the same. So you can know what you can get away with. So, as you can see here, this is a pretty nice one. I might actually try that out in the future when I get my own uh, Charu build up a little bit more. For the moment, I go uh, like this. And then he has full Rivendell heal, just like me. And we are not going to take a look at his last squad because that was Road to Rivendell and that was an accidental submit. So he screwed it out of some scores there. Um, so that is the current. But still, he did manage to catch up with his different squads, but it did take a lot of time to get the overall. So also a little bit news here. My Gondor, again, I want to swap Miri into here, but this is still work in progress. So I... Plugged and played Neramiri here, and it works really, really well like this. Neramiri at some point will be swapped down here, and then Balin probably swapped over to uh, Thorin's company team. So, but I did Denethor to gear level 6, and he became 6 star, and that was all I had to do, and this was one attempt run. So, that was really good, really, really clean. Last stand and armor piercer on everyone. Um, I do resist on. I actually tried to get a lot of resist um, glyphs uh, on just for that little bit extra chance and then health glyphs. That was basically my main focus. So here you can see he also gains 1.4, again uh, 1.5 and again Halberad. So you now have two different chapters where you do a good score with Halberad. So this is also why I would argue that you aren't in vain if you've built a uh, Gondor and why you should continue farming them. And yeah, we have four teams here again. This is then where we see um, Gandalf, Fellowship with Nermiri and Balin. This was supposedly pretty okay run for him. And again, Charu here you see swapped in instead of Yev2. So you have a summon and that was really, really good. Uh, so this is something that I'm definitely going to copy. I can already say that 
with my Haradrim. I'm going to try this tactic, see if I can get a better score. Again, we're going to look at Charu a little bit later. But this was really, really cool. And again, Fellowship, so you have a good idea of what you can um, use them with. And then we're going to go over and see if he's done some Chapter 4 attempts. Um, we are doing okay. Um, we're normally scoring around 365, and we still have 18 hours of the raid left almost, um, 17 hours. Uh, okay, so at the moment I hold number one, that won't happen for long, they are definitely gonna come and hit us, and uh, uh, hit us, that is Sleeper, Sleeper hasn't done anything yet, he doesn't score below 300k. So. This was a little bit of a uh, fellowship um, inter interaction, and I am not done yet, don't worry. And this was also something he talked about, like seeing that small investment into a Denethor. Small, I mean a gear 6, because when you level up, then that's just natural. So, yeah, um, that was really, really something that is those small investments, and you have to be in a good Discord to talk about stuff like that. How advice like throw up say okay guys i finished this character or i finished this team they can do this now should i continue invest into them where should i go i would say do that and i asked him to pick some plug and plays for fellowship uh eowyn brood neramiri is uh, or ironhide um, but yet um, eowyn brood neramiri and neramiri will always benefit legolas and if you want to do someone then um Charu as well for Heratrim. So that was a little bit of that. Now let's go ahead and take a look at my own Charu. So basically we have the same star level on Charu, so nothing to be scuffed at there. Abilities, I believe not all of them, but almost all of them were level 4 for him, so that's not a high investment. And then I would just do just do uh, level 60 and gear level 8 and that is the kind of Charu that he uses obviously last stand like everyone else but that is honestly what he just was uh, doing and that netted him a 1.5 mil and for me my own Haratrim scores around 1.1 that is a 400k score increase I can get so this is where I'm actually gonna do my first plug and play where I'm gonna deviate a little bit from my plan that I always talk about knowing that I see someone else using Charu in chapter 2 for instance with fellow uh, with fellowship I believe that's what I saw I'm very tired these days uh, due to my back and everything but seeing Haratrim being able to score 400k higher with just one and we all like the Dol Guldur faction this is definitely something that I'm gonna prioritize doing after I'm done with uh, Keely and his abilities um, and we're gonna take a look at that in just a moment so I would really recommend uh, Charu and also out of the Dol Guldur at the moment for uh, Sleeper's uh, point of view he says Dol Guldur um, Charu is actually the one he would level, f uh, level first we all know about how Black Beast works when the feast stacks are on, so, uh, etc. So, but Charu, he's definitely impressed about that. So I'm listening to that because he is scoring for his TCP. He's scoring better than anyone I know, and um, he's scoring better than anyone who are saying they are the best or they are part of STC, uh, etc. I haven't seen anyone with better rate ratio. Than him he does spend more than me okay so here this one I'm gonna do this to level 60 hopefully to uh, level 6 well level 60 ability I don't even want to consider that cost level 6 ability then this is done I might go ahead and do this I'm not really sure but maybe I'll do it just to finish it and then I don't think I'll put any anything more into that and that is due to talking with swag by the way go check out the good glyph guides video that swag has put out i'll drop a link to it in the description if you haven't seen it yet we are talking about dwarves and haratrim we're doing a mix it's a long video but i would say it's a very very good video and i'm very happy to do that uh, good glyph guide series with uh, swag so 
yeah uh, last thing uh, let me show you um, his TCP now as you can see we are one member short but we do have someone so um, lined up the person isn't 100% confirm, uh, confirmed but 95% so there's still a chance if you want to say something but yeah sleeper here not even 400k not even 400k and he's scoring 24 million in raids or l like 23.9 but i believe he scored well um we can just do quick math here uh 425 425 plus this this is um 11.5 11.5 that is uh, 17 18.4 11.5 this is then 17 18.4 um he scored almost 25 million i believe and that is um that's pretty high like he's miles and ahead of everyone else like he's scoring a complete chapter one score better than me in raids but I'm catching up with him in my own pace. I'm hoping at some point he will stagnate due to not more being in the game. Speaking about more being in the game, we will get more stuff, everyone. Don't listen to the trolls in the Discord. Yes, we are all concerned why they are silent for so long, but they won't shut the game down. The game isn't dead. Just be patient and try to enjoy. Watch all the videos, of course. And if you have any questions, Drop them in the comments down below. Leave a like on the video. Consider subscribing. Check out the uh, Swag's Good Lives Guide video. And I'll see you all in the next one.